sunscreen tips. I've been telling my girl she needs to wear her sunscreen. I forget it. Hi, good morning, guys. Yeah, so we're hanging out in Folsom at the Paddle Splash event. So it's a cardinal rule, right? Wear sunblock every single day to maintain a healthy lifestyle. You want to be safe. Um, you want to be cautious, of course. But what's happening is people don't realize there is, in fact, an expiration date. Look around. There's people are hanging out here at the water on the, um, here in Folsom, and they're getting ready for the event. So what I had decided to do was walk around and chat with a few people. And I said, hey, open up your bag. Let me check that sunblock. And they said, okay. And I said, it Maybe, maybe not. Sure enough, so many people had expired sunblocks in their bag. So here are just a few. This one in particular expired back in, actually this year, but March of 2018. This one expired. Where did it go? Oh, this one also in 2018. This one also earlier this year. Um, so these are all expired. This one was from 20. 15, you guys, 2015. And what happens is you don't realize it because there's no real way to detect if it's expired except for the mere fact of the expiration date. And after talking to everybody, the main concern was we did not know either one to look or two to look, um, rather where to look on the actual bottle. So I wanted to bring in Andrea Willie. You are a dermatologist um, and a skin cancer surgeon. You've worked with us before. Why is it so important to check that expiration date? Well, you want to make sure that you're putting sunscreen on that isn't expired just so that you know you're getting that protection. And then generally what happens um, when you're putting on expired sunblock, it's just really not doing the job. Is that right? That is correct. That is correct. So if you have a, a chemical sunscreen, those types of sunscreens tend to absorb light and then break down. They won't be able to do that at all. They have a lot of stabilizers in them, and so they just are very unstable. If you have a sunscreen that is made out of zinc or titanium, they tend to be more stable, but they have things in them that make them more elegant, and those things do break down. So let's talk about some alternatives here because, you, like you said, three years usually is max for a sunblock, but what are some other options? Yeah, so there are some sunscreens that don't expire. So I want to show you this one here. This is a mineral powder sunscreen that basically doesn't expire ever, and so that one's nice. And the other thing you can do is just wearing uh, sun protective clothing, hats, glasses, and things like that that just don't allow the sun to get through your clothing. Great, fantastic. Thank you so much. This is such um, informative information. Informative information. This is important information. I want to bring in Kelly. So just really quickly, you guys, here at the event, they are making sure the kids are staying protected with zinc sunblock, which is a block that does not expire. This is like war paint. This is super cool for the kids. Yeah, so today, um, it's, it's something really important for the kids to have fun also while learning about keeping safe from the sun. So today, we're going to be doing a Zinca face painting contest. Um, to kind of, you know, show them every like wh how important it is, but also while having fun. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I just wanted to make sure we threw that out here. We'll be at this uh, paddleboarding event for the next three hours, so come back for a good time. Back to you. Check that sunblock. Tina, wear that sunblock. Yeah. Yes, Cammie, check the expiration date. You would be surprised. Well, I always...